Saturday, October 5th, my 25th birthday, and I have no clue what we're doing. We've just been having a really relaxing Saturday. We just got done eating. I wanted to show you guys. I went to TJ Maxx the other day. I've never collected anything ready done. And McKenna from McKenna and Family, I will leave her channel in my description box if I remember. But you guys should definitely go subscribe to her. I love her channel. She's so sweet. But she got me hooked on Ray Dunn hunting. Lucas, show. You got Mr. Incredibles. My town's really small, so the only Ray, like any place that sells Ray Dunn here is TJ Maxx. And I really wanted the coffee mug, but they didn't have it. The only mug I could find was this one that says eggnog. So I went ahead and picked it up. Just so I can say that I finally found my first Ray Dunn item. We're getting ready, I think, later on, and we're gonna go to Big Lots and Walmart. I wanna look at a new diaper bag, the coffee canister, but I know that's not, I'm a, I will never be able to find it. My mom got me this for my birthday. So I wanna try to find like a little canister or any like, little jar that I can put those in. So I think we're gonna go to Walmart today and Big Lots. But I'm wanting a new diaper bag, that way maybe I will be able to take my Sony more places and film on it. And I found a diaper bag that I like that hooks onto your stroller or you can hook it onto your cart. So I just thought for vlogging purposes that I could just hook that onto my cart, my stroller, so I could be able to pull my Sony out better. Because I'm trying to stop filming on my iPhone and filming more on my Sony because the quality on my Sony is so good. Let's say hi. Hey. I want to show you guys my nails. They are so cute. My sister gave them to me. They are the Impressed brand, and they've stayed on so good. A few of them has actually fallen off, but they going back on, and I've had them done since Wednesday, I think. Molly is not feeling good, so she's asleep on the couch. I hate when school starts because it seems like every weekend that's when they get some kind of new sickness. And then once they get it, we all get it. So I'm trying to make sure that her and Lucas wash their hands before they before they touch Eleanor because RSV season is officially here. I do not want anything bad happening to her or her picking up anything. But since she's asleep, Eleanor is playing on her play mat. And Lucas is destroying the living room by cleaning, by cleaning, by dragging out all his toys. Aren't you, buddy? I'll take you guys along, but I completely forgot my camera. A home. I thought I put it in the dive bag, but I didn't. We went to TJ Maxx because I was trying to Ray Dunn hunt again. They had absolutely nothing Ray Dunn. Last time I went with my sister and mom, there was a lady there that said that one person hangs out in the store all day because our TJ Maxx doesn't tell anyone when the Ray Dunn stuff's coming out. And that when it does, that that person just scoops it all up. So it looks like I'm going to have a problem Ray Dunn hunting. Because our town only has the TJ Maxx. We have no home goods and no Marshalls to look. Stopped at a little hot dog shop and got them food and he picked me up R.A.B. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what I got. I wanted a canister light to put my K-Cups in. I really wanted the Ray Dunn coffee canister, but I could not find it. So I found this to put my K-Cups in and it came with the chalk for like $3.99 at TJ Maxx. And then we went to Big Lots and I got a matching one. I seen OK Baby put her daughter's formula in like a little container and I thought it was the cutest little thing. So I decided to get one that would match my coffee canister and put Eleanor's formula in. And then we went to Walmart and I got some kind of plant-based cleaner. I found this at Big Lots for $6. I got this diaper bag. It hooks to your cart and your stroller, so I thought that would be easier when I was out. And it's starting to cool down where I live. I think next week it's supposed to be in the 60s, so I just went ahead and got some long sleeve shirts from Walmart. I got this mustard collar. This collar and then I got this navy blue collar. Sarah went and got her hair done so she's here now and it's 2.30. I don't know what we're doing but that is what David got me for my birthday. The shirts came from David's parents because they gave me a gift card and then David got the rest of the stuff for me. This is the blanket that David got me. It was $6 at Big Lots. It's so soft and cute. right on like the little chalkboard and we just did Ellie for her formula and then the K-Cups were right here. I went ahead and just left out my eggnog, Ray Dunn cup. I, I wanted to find a coffee sign to hang up here too but I could anywhere we went did not have it. I think it turned out pretty cute.
debated whether or not to get this because it was a little bit pricey. Am I even the same? I don't remember how much I paid for this. I got this before I found, well, after I found out I was having Ellie, like my, in my ninth month of pregnancy, I went ahead and got that. But I wanted to switch to something else. David has Ellie. <laughs> but I really like it. I just feel like it's going to be easier to set my camera in and then that way when it's on my arm, I can just hurry up and get the camera out. Or I can strap it to the cart if I need to. My diaper bag hung up. I'm actually really glad. I don't like spending a bunch of money on that, like I said. But I think it looks so cute. Even Sarah's like, when she, when she has a baby, she said, just sell it to me and I'll buy it off you. Because she loves it. But it is really cute, guys. <laughs> Um, yesterday I took out the swing because Eleanor doesn't use it anymore so I just put her bouncer here her car seat put her diapers there I really want to get a um, wicker basket whatever they're called to keep blankets in I was looking at them today and they want the cheapest one I found was like $16 at the stores I was looking at and I don't want to pay that much so I just cut off the handles on a love's diaper box and I'm just using that I got my candle lit all the dishes are in the dishwasher my sink is clear I went ahead and moved Eleanor's um, bottle rack because I don't really use it that much. I usually just use my dish drainer for her bottles and it needs wiped down. So I just went ahead and moved it. That way you could see this little area better. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Me and Luke are like, Lukey, sing. Happy birthday to you. Sing, Sarah. Hum. Blotch candles. Blotch candles. <laughs> I where? Thank Walmart. you. Walmart. Boom. So she was too scared <laughs> to tell them to write that, so we had to look around for the numbers. That would be two. <laughs> well, I was like, I could do it. I could get this. Two. But then I was like, oh, we'll just get the letters. Okay. Is this thing recording? Um, let's know. You want to hand it to her? I don't know if I can do it with one hand. That's. You give it Turn that light on. Molly. <laughs> oh, that one's from it, Sarah. <laughs> I was literally on Amazon looking up Halloween nails. They were gone for two hours almost, but they came back with a bunch of goodies for me. I have known my vacuum's been broke. And then I just told you guys about the Love's diaper box. David surprised me at this to put the blankets in. I've never seen one of these. <laughs> oh, this is... Are these back them? Yes. Can I share? We'll see. I love this. I, I was just looking at this today on Amazon. So I put the blankets in that. And then I went ahead and moved the Ray Dunn and put the Starbucks there since it kind of goes better with the new stuff that I got. Hi guys. So I didn't finish filming anything after David and Sarah surprised me. I had a really good birthday. They did a really good job. I love everything that I got. Today is Sunday. It's just a very relaxing Sunday. It's really cold outside and it's raining. So we've just been having a lazy day. I'm in baggy clothes. I just got Molly and Lucas in the bath and we are actually going to be baking cookies. So I thought that I would Hello. film it. We're doing Halloween cookies. I thought I would film it. This time I went to Aldi's. I got some ghost cookies that Lucas picked out. We need to May I don't want cookies. Hey! May I want Are they hot? No, The cookies are in the oven. They're going to bake. And I really, no, next time you do this, I'm going to go and get no cookie sheets because those are so rusted and old I even went ahead and washed them and they're just looking horrible so definitely I need to buy new ones here what do you think <laughs> is it good I was gonna film what I made for dinner but I completely forgot but I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here okay so much for watching and I'll talk to you in my next video bye